Martin and Stephen had been together for 21 years before they made the sad decision to end their relationship. They wanted to remain friends if possible, and they didn't want to spend enormous amounts of money on legal advice. Well, I never felt hatred or real an animosity. It was just that was how life had, you know, had reached that, that stage, really, and we had to move on. Their civil partnership was one of the first, taking place in 2006. But when things started to go wrong, Martin found a solicitor who recommended mediation. Both were apprehensive about whether they could reach agreement, especially over Stephen's sizeable pension. I mean, I didn't realise my pension was kind of worth so much money, which came as a shock to me. It was, and it was also very frightening because I thought, I'm going to lose half of it because legally that could have happened. However, what she did was to say, well, how about if you tried this way or looked at it from this way and say, Martin takes most of the sale of the house um, and you keep your pension. There could have been a lot of animosity, I think, and perhaps a big fallout if the mediator hadn't stepped in and guided us through that. Um, and reach the situation and the result that we've got. Their mediator was Sid Short from National Family Mediation. Her philosophy is that all separating or divorcing couples can make their own agreements if they want to. Thousands, thousands of different clients, thousands of different arrangements. They could have the core arrangements the same, but the bits around the edge are always different. It's unbelievably varied. One of Sid Short's other clients is Brenda Shorkey. Her main concern was that when she got divorced, she would lose her home and her son would lose regular contact with his father. That didn't happen. After speaking to the mediator, it seemed that maybe we could live together um, as, well, not as a couple and our separate lives, but live in the same house. Um, he's got his room and I've got my room and... We share the kitchen together, that sort of works out quite well. Um, he gives me a little bit of money towards food and bills. Um, and um, at the moment it's working quite well. Brenda is now a full-time student and she received legal aid for her divorce, which is still available for mediation. Martin and Stephen's separation cost them a few hundred pounds, rather than the thousands they feared it would have done if they'd gone to separate solicitors. All of them are now getting on with their lives without the damaging conflict so many people go through if their separation ends up in court.